Welcome back. It's time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTO mailbox. And today, Dr. Lori has a bittersweet setup on her display. And Dr. Lori, before we get into this week's items, you wanted to mention an artist that really meant a lot to you. Well, an artist that meant a lot to American art in general, Faith Ringgold passed at 93. She was an important artist in American art. She also supported art historians, including me, with her Anyone Can Fly Foundation grants to support research in women's art and in African-American art. This is me with Faith in 2003 when I received that grant. And I will say that she has had exhibitions and her work in major museums all over the Metropolitan, a recent retrospective at the New Museum in Manhattan, and of course, she has exhibited her works in the White House and in other major museums. She'll be sorely missed, but I did want to mention her because we lost a champion of American art this week. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm so glad, I'm glad that you, you brought this up and, and we were able yeah. to talk about glad it. Glad you're bit. able to mention this, yeah. yeah. Sure. So we Thank want you. to start with our first item, and this was uh, a glass fish sent in by Dan. So tell us a little bit about this item. Yeah, this is a nice one. You can see the fish was going up to the surface this time. This is uh, a piece from the West Coast, I'm told. Um, this one from Washington State, where, of course, there's a great art tradition in art, fine art glass. Um, this is blown glass. This particular piece is about seven inches tall, um, an American sculpture. And uh, we don't have any information about the artist. We just know that it's from the Washington State area. Hmm. What, so it's not it's not all blown glass, is it? It's it's hard to make out on this monitor what exactly. Yes, we're it is at. all it is all blown glass. So the blue oh, is really? blown glass, as well as the brown areas and the, the oh. clear glass that you're seeing it's with more of like the metal. movement. Yeah, that's all blown glass. <laughs> okay, yeah, because it definitely does look like metal. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I may be going way too low, but we're gonna find out. I, I okay. just wrote $75. It's beautiful. I just, because we don't have information on the artist, I wasn't sure. I, yeah. went, I went really low. I went $40. I think Heather's closer. $85. Oh, okay. very good. I think it's We're hard. Once, if you had information on the artist, I think it might change the value a little bit. Okay. You're right. right. Next You're is right. a plate sent in by Lynn. So tell us about the plate. The plate is an anchor hocking plate made by that manufacturer. It's a serving plate. You can see that there are actually little handles at the top and the bottom of this one. Uh, green uranium glass, sometimes called uh, depression glass, but uranium glass actually has that particular um, chemical metal in it. Uh, it's 10 and a half inches in diameter. It dates to the 1930s. Remember, it's a serving plate. Um, it's not a regular dinner plate. You wouldn't eat off this. You would take an object. Usually it's desserts off of this particular plate. Hmm. And so it was mass produced in, in its day, yep. but like for collectors, this type of glass, this type of plate, is it a hot commodity now? They're hot commodities now for the color. Collectors look for the color, they look for the pattern, they also look for size. Um, they look for pieces that are unusual, like serving plates and platters, as opposed to just a dinner plate. I don't know much about uranium. Is it safe to eat off of uranium? <laughs> she did say yeah, uranium, see, didn't get, she? <laughs> people get concerned about uranium glass and such, but uranium glass will fluoresce under black light, so a lot of people like to collect it. Oh. Um, and it was widely manufactured in the early 20th century. So right. lead is the thing you want to really be careful of. Right. <laughs> well, if, if collectors are interested, maybe this is too high. I said 250. Once again, I may have gone way too low. I said 65. 125 is what it's worth. Oh, that's math. That's math. That's I think math. you get the point. I think I'm. I think it's oh, David. Got, oh, okay. Wait, no, David got the point. I I got the point, but I'm not sure any either of us should have gotten the point. All right, one last item. And this is See, opera glasses. This just spinning. goes to this just goes to confirm we like art. Okay, we the like math is like uh oh, the math. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> math is mathin' today. All right, these are opera glasses sent in by Marilyn. These are opera glasses, mother of pearl, made in Paris, late 19th century. 
um, and they do work, which means that that little knob actually allows them to go up and back. They're very desirable. A lot of people like to collect them, and they're, of course, an, a true antique, more than 100 years old. Mm. Mother of pearl. I mean, they're gorgeous. Uh, yeah. How many of these would exist in good condition? A lot of them would exist. Remember, the mother of pearl tells you that these were intended for a woman. Uh, a man's opera glasses would be in the same position as the mother of pearl would be leather. Oh. Oh, interesting. They had masculine and feminine. Um, okay. I don't know. I don't know. David, it's this all is coming your down moment. to this. I know. You need to win this. Ooh. I said 125. I went higher than that. I said 180. Isn't that right, Dr. Lloyd? No, it's not. Yeah. Heather Abraham is right. <laughs> 125. <laughs> No, no, I really Dr. want Lori. you to win. I'm not even <laughs> trying now. I'm just, I just want you to win, David. Dr. Lori, I gave you the, you know, I know, the but sign. you know, I got to tell you the truth. That's the thing. Uh, no, you know, no. I make some hearts, I make some millionaires. You know me. <laughs> Dr. Lori, thank we you love as you. always. And we are so sorry to hear about the loss of your friend, too. Thank you. All right. Take care, Dr. Lori. And thank you at home for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at PTL at KDKA.com. Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. All right. Still to